Good morning and happy Thursday. I hope you've enjoyed our books for the week and are beginning to see what these books have in common. Today we're going to be reading another story that we've read before. Remember, it's Familiar Book Week. This story is called King of the Playground. And in this story, there's going to be a boy who goes to the playground every day. And every day he goes to the playground, this one bully is just so mean and won't let him play on things. Let's read to find out what happens and if he ever gets to enjoy the playground like he used to before this bully got here. King of the Playground by Phyllis Reynolds Nair and illustrated by Nola Langer Malone. Kevin put on his Spider-Man t-shirt, his Batman underpants, and his jeans with the horseshoe on each pocket. But he didn't feel brave, and he didn't feel lucky. He walked up the street to the playground. He wanted to go down the slide head first, but if Sammy was there, he wouldn't go down at all. Too late. Sammy was there. You can't come in! Sammy said, I'm king of the playground. And he told Kevin what he would do if he saw him on the slide. Kevin went back home. His father was making soup. I thought you went to the playground, said his father. Sammy says, if I go on the slide, he'll get a rope and tie me up, Kevin told him. He says, he'll tie my hands and feet so tight, I'll never get loose. It's good that he told his parents, didn't he? Wow, said father. Really? And what would you be doing while Sammy was trying you up? Just sitting there? Kevin remembered when he tried to put a sweater on their cat. But it didn't go very well. I'd be kicking my feet, he said. Right, said his dad. That's one thing you could do. Oh, so his dad gave him an idea. Hmm. If Sammy says he's going to tie you up, are you just going to let him? He thinks not. The next day, Kevin went to the playground and got as far as the swings. You can't play here, yelled Sammy, running over. I'm king of the swings. And he told Kevin what he would do if he saw him on the swings. Mean old Sammy. Kevin went home and sat on the porch. Father was washing his car. Thought you were going to the playground, Father called. Kevin shook his head. Sammy says if I go on the swings, he'll dig a hole and put me in it. He says he'll dig a hole so deep, I'll never get out. Father smiled a bit. How long do you think it would take Sammy to dig that hole? Kevin remembered when he had helped his father dig big holes for fence posts in the backyard. A long time, he said. And what would you be doing while Sammy was digging? I'd be kicking the dirt back in, said Kevin, and he smiled a little too. Right, said his dad. That's one thing you could do. So he has another idea of something he could do if Sammy was going to dig him a hole. The next day, Kevin went to the playground and tried to climb the monkey bars. You can't play here. I'm king of the monkey bars, said Sammy shouted and told Kevin what he would do if he saw him there. <sighs> Kevin went home and climbed up the maple tree. His father was working in the garden. I thought you were going to the playground, said father. Sammy says if I climb the monkey bars, he'll come over to our house and nail all the doors and windows shut and we'd be trapped forever. Kevin looked at his father, and they both started to laugh. And while Sammy was nailing one door shut, we could walk out the other, Kevin said. Right, said his dad. Oh, something's changed. He, Kevin didn't need his dad to help him. As soon as Kevin saw his dad, and his dad asked one question, Kevin was able to say what he would do. I wonder what he's going to do with this new knowledge. The next morning, Kevin put on his Spider-Man t-shirt, his Batman underpants, and his jean with the horseshoe on each pocket. 
he felt only a little bit brave and a little bit lucky. He walked up the street to the playground. Thump, thump, thump went his heart. Sammy was sitting by himself in the sandbox. It was a big sandbox, but when Sammy was in it, no one else wanted to play. Kevin slowly walked over. You can't play here, Sammy yelled when he saw him. I'm king of the sandbox. Kevin put one foot in the box. Go home, Sammy yelled even louder. If you try to play here, I'll put you in a cage with bears in it. Uh-oh, that's not very nice. wonder what Kevin's going to do. <sighs> Kevin put his other foot in the sandbox. Then I'll ride on their backs and teach them tricks, he said. Sammy stared. You can't, he yelled. They're bears. Then I'll squeeze through the cage and escape. You can't, Sammy shouted. You're too big. Then I'll take magic pills to make me little said Kevin, beaming a smile. I'll get through the cage and hide. I wonder what Sammy's gonna do. <gasps> you can't, Sammy hollered. I'll run after you and pick you up and throw you in a trash can. Then I'll take magic pills to make me big again and I'll drive away in the truck. You can't, bellowed Sammy. I'll go to the army and get a tank and chase the truck and push it into the ocean. Whoa, they're getting a little carried away here. Try it, said Kevin. Sammy stopped hollering. What? He said. Try it, said Kevin, and he sat down. He began digging a tunnel at one end of the sandbox. For a moment, Sammy didn't say anything at all. Then he began digging a tunnel at his end of the sandbox. Faster and farther and farther they dug until suddenly, thump. They bumped heads right in the middle. This time, Kevin laughed out loud. He wasn't sure, but he thought maybe Sammy was smiling too. I'm going to dig the biggest fort in the world, Kevin said, and began digging again. Ha! said Sammy. It's got to have towers. It will, Kevin said. It's got to have a drawbridge, said Sammy. It will, Kevin said. It's got to have a ditch all around, said Sammy. It will, Kevin said. Help me build it. That was nice. No, Sammy told him, but he did. And that's the end of our story. So I really love this story because Sammy kept being mean, kept pushing, kept pushing, but Kevin didn't let that ruin his ideas. It didn't let him take over. It didn't let Sammy push him around, even though he tried. Kevin stood up for himself, even though he was still mean, even at the end. Sammy said no, but Kevin kept pushing, and eventually they had a great time together building that sand castle. So I want you to think about this question for today. What did the author want you to learn? So thinking about what this could mean for your own life. What did the author want you to learn in this story? I want you to write this on a piece of paper and then go off and read on Raz Kids for 20 or 30 minutes on your own. Then thinking about the stories that you read in your on your own I want you to think of what the author wanted you to learn from one of those stories. I'll see you tomorrow.